welcome user till now in this chapter we have discussed information about k means and hierarchical clustering in those videos while making model to avoid complexity we have chosen random two features instead of considering all features for the analysis but suppose we have 15 to 20 features in the data set and to make model we cannot consider all features for the analysis also we cannot neglect random features from the data set so how we can neglect features or how we can say which features are the important features for the analysis dimensionality reduction technique will help us to get importance from the feature if the problem is belongs to regression then we have seen we can use feature selection techniques to get importance of the features to get more information about the feature selection kindly watch lesson number 15 and for the classification and clustering problem we generally use feature extraction techniques principal component analysis is one of the technique which we can use to get importance of the features to get principal components generally we transform higher dimensional data to lower dimensional data but at the same time transform data is maintaining equal information first let us visualize how we can reduce dimensions and after that we will look mathematical approach for the same for simplicity we will consider two dimensional space over here you can see i have mapped data points into two dimensional space now find out the line which will cover maximum variance from the data set over here you can see i have assumed two lines and if we project data points onto that line we can say line l2 will cover large variance so we can say line l2 is a first principal component for this data set and perpendicular line to the first principal component is second principal component for this data set so let us understand the same thing mathematically suppose we have data set has the n number of features and together they are making m dimensional space so the goal of the principal component analysis is to transform m dimensional data space to the k dimensional data space and k dimensions are the less than the m dimensional space for simplicity consider one data set has the four features and we are going to transform this data set into three features over here you can see original data set is 4 into 1 matrix and transform matrix is 3 into 1 matrix so the question is how we will get transform matrix so if we multiply 3 into 4 matrix to 4 into 1 matrix we will get 3 into 1 matrix so now the goal is how we can find out such matrix this matrix is nothing but covariance matrix and right here you can see mathematical form of covariance matrix for the four features this matrix is symmetrical and 4 into 4 matrix over here you can see how we can calculate covariance matrix where c will specify data set in matrix form and it is n into m matrix where n is number of observations and m is number of features so in short we can say if we want to transform m dimensional data set to k dimensional data set we will select first principal component which shows maximum variation to the data set and generally in the procedure we neglect such features which shows less variations or the features which has the similar observations so these k principal components are the eigenvectors of the covariance matrix has the corresponding eigenvalues this is all about the theory of principal component analysis now let us implement the principal component analysis in the matlab over here you can see under workspace window i have already imported the same data set that i have used for k means and hierarchical clustering and in those videos we have discussed that from the data set university's feature is not going to help us for the analysis and remaining features we have considered for the analysis but to reduce complexity i have considered only two features and i have selected those features randomly but actually we cannot ignore any features from the analysis without checking the importance of the feature and pca will help us to check importance of the features so let us check out of these all numerical features which are showing more importance over here you can see in the first section i have removed the university's feature from the data set and after that in the next selection i have scaled data right here you can see pca function will write five output variables but out of five output variables we are going to consider score and explain variable for the analysis score will return as a matrix so rows of score correspond to observations and columns to components explain will return percentage of the total variance explained by each principal component now run the code and check the principal component variance values over here you can see we have selected six features for the analysis so here also we got six principal component variance values but out of six components we can say first principal component is explaining almost 98 percent of variance of data set so now it is user choice that how much variance of data user want suppose user want 99 percent of variance from the data set so we will select first three principal component for the analysis but now the question is how we can select respective column to get respective column we use score variable 
स्कोर ऑफ फर्स्ट कॉलम विल स्पेसिफाई फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल कंपोनेंट स्कोर ऑफ सेकंड कॉलम विल स्पेसिफाई सेकंड प्रिंसिपल कंपोनेंट एंड सो ऑन हियर आई हैव सिलेक्टेड फर्स्ट थ्री कॉलम्स फ्रॉम द स्कोर वेरिएबल व्हिच विल कवर फर्स्ट थ्री प्रिंसिपल कंपोनेंट दैट वी हैव चूजन टू गेट 99% ऑफ वेरिएंस फ्रॉम डेटा सेट नाउ वी हैव एक्सट्रैक्टेड द इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर्स इन द डेटा वेरिएबल एंड नाउ वी कैन यूज दिस डेटा टू अप्लाई ऑन एनी क्लस्टरिंग और एनी क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम so we have extracted important features from the data set by transforming six features to three features and we have used principal component analysis to extract features this will end our video in this video we have seen how principal component analysis will help us to extract important features from the data set also this will end our chapter in this chapter we have seen clustering algorithms and also we have seen use of principal component analysis for clustering analysis we have considered all observations for making model but somewhere when we use all observations for making model we may get biased model so to make it unbiased usually we divide our data into training and testing data set generally size of training data set is more as compared to testing data we train model by using training data set and we predict model by using testing data so from the next video we will use splitting method before going to make machine learning models In the next video we will start supervised machine learning algorithms. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries post them in the comments and get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future, MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing.